Norman arrows that have failed to hit a target have been picked up by the English and being thrown back at the Norman archers as the arrow scurriers go in advance of the archer line trying to reclaim any arrows in order to reuse them later on. William Poitier manages to get a Norman PR victory out of this situation. Uh, he writes, the English threw spears and weapons of every kind, murderous axes and stones tied to sticks. Under this deadly hail, you might have thought our men would be crushed. Well, the Normans have really hit the shield wall now. Yes, luckily for Harold, his men seem to have held firm and repulsed this first attack. However, there are many more Norman soldiers in their units marching up to keep slamming against this shield wall. William of Poitiers is still doing his job of excusing the Normans, but you have to hand it to him. He is still choosing to report part of the battle when things weren't going too well for the Normans. He writes, the English were greatly helped by the advantage of the high ground, also by their great number, and further by their weapons, which could easily find a way through shields and other defences. Guy, Bishop of Amiens, pays the English a poetic tribute. Just as a wild boar, wearied by the hounds and at bay, protects itself with its tusks and with foaming jaws refuses to submit, fearing neither the enemy nor the